if you don't like spicy, you like this. If you don't like too sweet, like the, you know, a bit of everything. Right. Well this married. Is super balanced. South African, your bobo tea is nice. It's nice. I think I did justice to this. I'll pay for this in a restaurant. So I'll pay for it. How much will you pay? Thank you. No, I won't sell it less than 30k. 30k. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. So I've got milk here. Um, this is not evaporated milk. I'm using um, full cream milk, or you can use whole milk for this. Bread into the milk. You need to push that in. Like, you need to really, really soak. I'll set that aside. You can decide to slice your onions if you want, but I'm in the baby girl mode today, so I'm using my food processor to do all that work. All right, so I'm going to be throwing in some garlic in here. All right, so this is fine. The next thing I will do is to process my yellow habanero peppers. Add some more garlic to it. <laughs> I'm adding just about one tablespoon of butter. Change my oil jar. And this is a very pretty one. Yeah. I'll add some oil. I'm going to add my chopped onions and garlic. Add my Italian spice. It's a mix of rosemary, marjoram, sage, some curry powder. Now you can add ginger powder to this if you like. And some oregano. Stir, stir, stir. And now I'll get my minced meats. I'll add some salt. It felt like sugar in my hands. <laughs> so I'll add some salt. <laughs> so you're just going to stir it to make sure it's all incorporated. I'll cover it till it's um, gray. Okay, so I'll be adding the tomato paste to the meat now because I want to eliminate that um, tomato taste quickly. So eyeballing it, that should be about three tablespoons. Add some turmeric, then allow everything cook through. Hi everyone, my name is Oamine Chipazoro and I am a full-time content creator, also award-winning and I stay in South Africa. South Africa guys is a beautiful beautiful country not even going to lie to you guys I'm gonna show you just a bit within this five minutes that we have I can only show you guys inside which I'll show you sort of like you know my studio um, and you know obviously this is where I, I I come almost every day obviously to work but I will ask myself what can I actually show you guys the drive here I did show you guys a bit I also did show you guys when I went to get my coffee in the morning McDonald's. Hi. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? I'm fine. Can I please get a uh, tall coffee? Tall coffee? With milk? Yes. Yeah. That's all. Yes, thank you. And so this is how I would say our drive through McDonald's system works you do go by that side and then you um you order and then you come this side pay and then i'm gonna fetch the next window and so the coffee is uh 24 rands 50 cents i don't know you can convert it but it's quite affordable and Hello. Hi. Oh, wow you're giving me a bonus <laughs> I ended up actually putting on my makeup and decided I'm not gonna have the wig today <laughs> and so yeah I decided to go with my natural hair but I obviously want you guys to actually see the the beauty that is in South Africa um, I stay in the suburbs I also work in the suburbs but we do have townships and I just feel like that is like the soul of this country so I'm gonna take you guys to like you know the township and the township that we're gonna go to today is called Cosmos City
At this point, I'm going to stir on this. Add my mango chutney and some apricot jam. This will give it some sort of sweetness. The pepper. I'm using yellow habanero pepper. I'm going to make sure this incorporates properly. Now, guys, you know why I'm laughing? Because for all the time I watch Bobote being cooked, you have to put your hands in that milk to squeeze out that bread. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> then you sprinkle. And I know some people always get, oh, she's using her hands. Well, guys, I have to use my hands. That's how the recipe goes. You need to wash your hands before doing that. I'll add some seasoning, just a little bit. Then make sure that bread incorporates completely. And the hair person, they told say, ha! Food day this world though. Yes, food day oh. My people go say, if you walk out far, you go see more. Uh -huh. I'm just going to add my garnishing, which is the garlic chives. Now, why I'm adding the carrots this late is because it's going into the oven and I still want a bit of that crunch when I bring the dish out of the oven. I'll turn off the heat, guys. The next thing I'm going to do is cook four eggs into a bowl. I'm going to whisk that. Then transfer the meat into the dish. I'll add some egg, the egg mixture. This is going to help bind it. So I'm going to cover this with a parchment paper. You can use foil to cover it. And this is just so that the top doesn't burn out before it comes together. And we should do this for about 15 to 30 minutes depending on your heat. I'll be adding one more egg to the remaining egg. I didn't use it all the first time. And this is the milk where I soak the bread. So I'll add the egg to the milk to just make a quick custard. I'm going to spice it up with a little bit of ginger. Add a little bit of salt, some parsley here to season the milk. Quickly bring this boboti out. It doesn't end here. We still have our custard to pour on it. This bay leaf part seems to be very, very important to the South Africans. So I'll cover it to cook this time without this. It's time to bring out our bubble tea from the oven. Now it looks really good, bubbling really, really good. It cooked for about 50 minutes, but the thing is, this was meant to cook for 30 to 35 minutes. So you are going to depend on your heat. Time to take pictures and enjoy our bubble tea. I tasted this thing and it's so tasty, but I do not want to talk. Let Mr. Food Critic do his thing first. And that's how they used to hold glass. So. <laughs> because I know he's going to say it. <laughs> yeah, now. So this looks like, like lasagna. Mm -hmm. so it's it reminds me of lasagna. Yeah. If I wasn't told what this was, I would say it's five. If bolognese, Marie's lasagna. Yeah, Marie's lasagna. <laughs> then the top is like, you know, quiche. Yeah, quiche. Yeah. So it's like quiche. Yeah. It's like different, like a bit of quiche with bolognese and lasagna format. I like this. So let me try it with the rice. But first of all, tell us the taste. Don't hide it. Oh, that's the taste. Oh, Don't oh. hide it. Let me try it. What are you feeling? <laughs> what are you feeling? I'll pay for this in a restaurant. So I'll pay for it. How much will you pay? Huh? How much will you pay? This economy is price for last economy. No, no, this new economy. It's not this economy ingredients that I bought. <laughs> Maybe. Thank you. No? Uh -uh. How much will you Not at all. How much will you charge me? I won't sell it less than 30k. 30k? Uh -uh, I will uh -uh, go. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Look at the effort I put in this thing. But I like meat. There's meat, there's veggies. Yeah. There's textures from carrots. It's balancing the meat. There's a bit of sweetness there. Like everything. It's sweet, balanced. not so sweet. It's savory. There's a whisper of spice, but not so spicy. It's balanced. Like if you don't like spicy, you like this. If you don't like too sweet, like the, you know, a bit of everything. Like well married. Super balanced. Super balanced. Mm. I love this dish. I love a it. A bit of fat. Just just small of everything. The South African. Your bubble tea is nice. It's nice. I think I did justice to this. If you are not eating this, you are missing. 
If you like this video, please give me a thumb up, share and comment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of my recipes.